Hi, I'm Yen. Um, I work from the languages team from Definity. And today I'm going to show you a new feature about um, verifying safe canister upgrade. So upgrading canister can be dangerous. For example, if you change the method name of a public method or the interface of you of your public method, then other service that relies on you canister can break. And also specifically from a toco, if you change the, the stable variable type in a not compatible way, then after the upgrade, then the stable state can data can be lost, which is uh, highly undesirable. And with Motoko, we promise to check these properties statically before we attempting to upgrade so that we make sure that the canister upgrade is doesn't break any existing service and also the data will be preserved after the upgrade. And the way we do this is, uh, is basically in, in the Motoko compiler, when we compile your code, we will generate both the candid interface file and then the Motoko stable type signature file. And then we, we will store this both interfaces into the Watson module as metadata. And then after, when you deploy the, can, the new canister in DFX, DFX will fetch this metadata on chain and compare the compatibility of these interfaces with your new build. And if it detects anything uh, incompatible, it will warn the user about a potential uh, problem. And this currently only works with Motoko, but the Rust support is coming soon. So here I already created a very simple counter example. Let's first uh, look at the code. So basically this defines a stable variable uh, counter of integer type, and then we initialize it to zero. And then we, we add a new increment method, which basically increment the counter by one and returns the current value. So now let's try to deploy this canister. Um, at the time of, the, of this recording, we haven't released the, new, the DFX binary that supports this. So we are using a custom build, but it should be available very soon. So now after, after we deploy this, then we can just call the canister as usual and say canister call um, the counter and then we can increment the counter. So we should get number one because initially it's zero and after we increment it's one. Now, let me try to upgrade the canister. Let's say I want to change the method name from ink to ink two. And then we break deploy again. Now the effects will detect a, a breaking change because it says that the method ink was in the previous version, but now it's missing. And then if some other canister is relying on this method, they, they will break their service. So it will, it will warn you about this. And of course, um, if you, you can still proceed with the upgrade, but just knowing that this is something we will check automatically for you. So if you say yes, then it will still upgrade. And then instead of calling ink, now you are calling the new method ink2. And, and because it's an upgrade, then the state is also preserved from when you call ink2, you will in, increment number one and uh, increment the previous state from one to two. Now let's try to do another upgrade. Uh, this time, let's say I want to change the type of the stable variable from an integer to a net. And I will hope that the, the counter value will be preserved after this upgrade. So let me try to deploy this again. Now it's the, uh, the DFX will detect a new warning about the, the would detect a new warning about the incompatibility of the stable variable type. Because in the previous version, we're using an integer type and now it's a NAT and this may cause data loss because uh, maybe um, in general, the integer type can be a negative value. So 
If it's a negative value, then you have no way to convert to a uh, net type. So this is warning that uh, this uh, type change is not safe. And still you can upgrade it, but then the end result is that the, the counter value will be lost. It will be reinitialized to zero because we cannot safely convert an integer to a net. So for example, if I say yes, and then if I call the ink2 method again, then the counter will be reset to zero. So we, will sh we should be seeing one instead of three. So this feature will be available in the next DFX release. And it also opens up many interesting use cases such as automatically rendering and type checking for candid messages, because now we can embed these signatures as part of the metadata in the canister. We're looking forward to deliver more exciting features along this line. Thank you.